Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain operator overloading in C++. Overloading is actually polymorphism. Uh, by using overloading, we will provide multiple definition, multiple behavior to a single form. So in operator overloading, we are already having operators in C++ like addition, multiplication, subtraction, left shift, right shift, and those operator actually already having a behavior. Let's say when we add two number like two plus three, so that addition operator will add those two number. Now these operator can work only on primitive data type. So uh, first of all, we will see why we need this operator overloading. So let's say uh, first we'll create a program. Now let's assume I'm having a class complex this class uh, I need to store complex number and as we know complex number is having two parts let's say one is real and one is imaginary and here I am creating a constructor so this is a parameterized constructor Okay, so uh, let's define main method as well. So here, if I create two complex number object, let's say O B one, and uh, this number is representing two plus three iota, so two will be real and three will be imaginary. And uh, second object, I'm creating four minus iota so 4 will be real part minus 1 will be imaginary part and what I want to do is that I want to add these two object so this addition operator this operator knows how to operate on primitive data type but it has no idea how to operate on these object so they are having a behavior uh, that is only for primitive data type so if you want to use them for object we cannot use this is the one reason second reason so let's say we don't know any concept of operator overloading so how are we going to add any number any two complex numbers so we will define a method here like com a public white or uh, uh, it's already public so uh, complex add so this math this function actually return a complex type of object and it need a complex type of object in it and what it will do uh, let's say it will store addition of real number of calling object so that can be accessed directly using real and so this object which we will pass in this function this object real and the uh, object who is calling this function real part of that object will be added and it will be stored in integer a and same integer b will store imaginary imaginary and then we will create a complex uh, object by using a and b value and then we will return object d and how we will write this one here so we need to write b1 dot add b2 so if you can see uh, the, uh, this is not compulsory operator overloading but uh, if you will read this sentence like b1 dot add b2 or if we are having something uh, let's say if you are using function uh, it won't provide uh, interpretation of that program quickly and if the same statement is written uh, in this way let's say b1 plus b2 so this will give a quick understanding so operator overloading is actually used to provide a better understanding of program so that any person uh, who is going to have a look on your program he will be having a quick idea about the program so in this 
uh, tutorial I will show you how to overload a operator so here we want to overload this operator plus now if you can see uh, here we have written a expression c equal to b1 plus b2 so this expression is actually equivalent to this one okay uh, the only difference here we are having a function name add here we are having a different function so we want to overload a operator what we want we want to overload a plus operator so the steps for overloading any operator what you need to do first you have to check what this uh, plus operator is returning so if you can say we are storing result of these addition operator in complex type of variable so it must return a complex value so our function return data type would be complex now which operator we are going to overload we are going to overload plus operator so we need to define a function what will be the name of function name of function will be operator and then which operator we want to overload so we will overload plus so in case if you want to overload multiplication we will write operator and multiplication sign now this function need some parameter so you need to remember if you are going to overload a binary operator you need to pass a single parameter but in case of uh, unary operators there is no parameter need to be passed so addition is a binary param a binary operator so we need to pass a single parameter now question is that what will be the data type of that parameter so just look at the second operand in your expression what is the data type of this operand so if you can see the data type of operand b2 is complex so here we will pass a object of complex data type and then we will write the same code here and let's delete this one instead of this one we will write a show function to print value of our complex number so first we will print real and then we will print value of real then on next line we will print measure okay so here we have created two object b1 b2 and in com a third object we have stored result of b1 plus b2 so we want to see whether this uh, operator overloading is working or not so we will print the value of c uh, let's see result of this program my program is stored in desktop so we need to move to desktop directory then I will compile it okay, so it's showing one error what is that uh, error expected before complex so okay we missed a semicolon here and uh, the same she was not declared in this scope okay okay now compile successfully now we will run it so if you can see uh, it's showing real is 6 and imaginary is 2 and if you can look at here when we add this real with this real we will get 6 and when we add 3 imaginary part of first object and minus 1 imaginary part of second object we will get 2 so our Operator overloading is working properly. Thank you very much for watching.